Hmm, how interesting. Kanto map. Uh, that's annoying. Oh, uh, well. Hey everyone, it's Steven Migajono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Liquid Crystal. In the last episode, we took the sixth gym on and uh, we actually won quite comfortably. Um, in this episode, I look to at least get to Mahogany Town and complete a few side quests there. And, oh, come on. Alright, that battle was dreadful and horrible and absolutely pointless. He got absolutely owned. Alright. Um, yeah, that map was a Kanto map for some reason. I don't know, that must have just been a glitch throughout the game. Um, so we had to walk to Ecotic City and now we are on Route 42. Uh, this is the only way you can get to Mahogany Town. Uh, and we find an Ultra Ball up here. But, uh, yeah, this is the only way you can get to Mahogany Town at this stage of the game. Otherwise, normally you'd be able to fly there. Alright, up here is a Super Potion. And uh, what's this building over here? Alright, we'll check it out. Alright, uh, looks like a battle. A berry tower. I don't know what the hell that is, but... Alright. Alright. Uh... Alright, now, uh, that's Mount Mortar. Mount Mortar, uh, virtually joins up the three, uh, areas there where we just sort of climbed across. Um, which says you're doing Surf. There are a couple of trainers in there and an incredible amount of wild Pokemon in there as well. So, that don't, I recommend you just Surf over the water. Uh, we're in a battle here against level 18 in Arena. Honestly, that's a major underlevel for this stage of the game. That really is underleveled so bad. Next up is Nidorino. Hopefully this Pokemon's a bit challenging. Now remember these Pokemon's ability is Poison Point, so don't go using any um, physical attacks on them, because you really do just will get absolutely owned by their Poison Point. Mind you, Magnemite cannot be poisoned because he's a Steel type, so... Yeah, that, that was a simple battle. If you have any problems with that battle whatsoever in this game, you really have problems. Alright. Pokemon Maniac Shane has been defeated. Should have used my Moonstone. Even though they're very majorly... What? Magnemite is evolving. Yay! The final slightly come that Magnemite's decided to evolve. I was right. It was level 30 as well. So, there's my amazing guessing once again. Well, no. Actually, it wasn't a guess. I had a Magnemite in Silver version. Which evolved into Magneton. I actually completed the... National Dex in Silver and all 251 Pokemon actually had exactly 134 level 100s on that game. I was absolutely amazing. By the way, I actually did play around four or five hundred hours anyway when they came. Alright. I know he's asking us to go to the Lake of Ray. That's because this is basically where the storyline really starts to kick in here. Route 43. Yeah, this really is where the storyline starts kicking. Oh, great. We got one of these stupid trainers that looks in the exact spot. Where you run? Alright, come on. Look down here, buddy. Down here. No, I ran too far. Hey, what the hell? Thousand dollars? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that is bad. <laughs> oh, man. I should have remembered that from gold and silver. Oh, well. A Max Ether! That's restores all the, H the HP, that PP of the move. Alright, you have to burst at least one of these trainers here. So we'll burst one up here. Oh, alright, so we just get past him anyway. Alright, welcome to the Lake of Rage. Let's see, they've built this platform so us fishers can fish better. Alright, um... The Gyarados are angry. Let's have a look around. Uh, nothing up there. This house here is the Fishing Guru's house. Alright, now if you surf on to the lake, and no, go back and click this. Yes, it is a red Gyarados, a shiny Gyarados, the only Pokemon in the entire Pokemon series where you actually have to encounter a shiny Pokemon. You actually encounter a shiny Pokemon on purpose. So yeah, anyway, you gotta verse this Pokemon. Oh, great. It is a Dragon Rage, a fixed damage attack. Always does 40 HP damage. 
Uh, yeah, you actually have to encounter this Gyarados. It is actually a part of the storyline. To get any further in the game, you have to either defeat or capture this Gyarados. I'm going to capture it, but I have no means whatsoever actually using it for my team, so... But that doesn't matter, does it? I mean, you guys are going to have any games which you're not using it. I mean, like... Uh, Gyarados is good, I guess, but it's... it's wow, that thrash really did an amazing amount of damage. But being part water type, it's, it's type just really kills it. Water flying, I mean, that just really absolutely destroys Gyarados. If it was water dragon, I really would recommend him for a team. But Gyarados just gets destroyed when he gets hit by an electric type attack. Um, and on top of that, he actually has a horrible special attack. Um, so any water type attacks that you teach him is just a waste of time. Ugh. Using more dragon range. Alright, we'll throw an ultra wide, let's see how it goes. We should have had him, you know, he's confused. He's got nice low HP. Oh, it didn't even shake! The only problem with this Gyarados is it really does no absolutely horrible attacks first up. The only good attack I would say is Thrash. Thrash is a normal type advantage. Oh. Yeah, anyway, Thrash is a normal type uh, counterpart of um, of Outrage. But however, Outrage does have a power of 120. Thrash only has a power of 90. But the good thing is, is they have power of actually 100. And there we go. We've caught the Red Gyarados. I don't really want to use it. I've, I've already got a water type and besides... I'm going to evolve my Poliwags. Poliwhirl, sorry. Quite shortly, anyway. Alright. Um, obtain the, you, you obtain the Red Scale, no matter if you catch him or defeat him anyway. So, let's see. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So, the magic card will be forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're joining on land to train like you. No, you're not. Stop lying. I saw the way you battled earlier, Jono. I can tell you're a trainer with some considerous, considerable skill. Yes, we will help you, Lance, only because you're so awesome and epic. Alright, so he wants to meet us in Mahogany Town, so what we're going to do is fly back to Mahogany Town with my fainted Pidgeotto. Thank you, the map actually real this time. <laughs> oh. Alright, so I heal at the Pokemon Center. After healing at the Pokemon Center, the best place to go is... No, it's not this house, it's the house of the... That guy there sells raid candy bars, by the way, for like a million dollars or something like that. Dragonite, Hyper Beam. What took you, Jono? What? I got here in like five seconds. What's your problem? All right, the stairs are right here. Oh, look at that guy. He's freaking out. All right, we go downstairs, and it's the rocket hideout of gold and silver. Oh, all right. See these dragon things here that I'm standing in front of? Uh, every single time you go up to them, one or, I think it's around two or three rocket grunts up here because they claim that there's cameras in there, you know, they can see you, all that kind of stuff. Uh, that really does slow the entire process down. But what I'm going to do off screen at the end of this episode is just go through all those um, cameras and just, you know, defeat all of them so we can just continue the next episode, which will be episode 20, just, you know, actually going through the rocket hard out without being disturbed or anything. But I will show the battles now, this is until what time or whatever, 10 minutes. Wants to be. Um, uh, yeah, these battles really are quite easy. Uh, it's my turn. There's no escape. Yeah. Okay, mate. Ah, uh, th these trainers you're battling now. You've versed him. I think two or three times. It's, it's one or the other. All right, we've got a Zubat. By the way, leave a comment saying what level you think I should get Poliwhirl or Evolve. I was thinking between level 35 and level 40, but I'll have a look and see what moves you can learn between those times. But other than that, leave a comment, see what episode or whatever you want to see a Poliwrath. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a Poliwrath before the Ice Gym because, you know, fighting is super effective against the Ice type. So, yeah. Oh, you can't do that! A super potion is a rocket grunt, for goodness sake! Ugh. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go battle all the rest of the trainers off screen in between episodes. Next up's Radata. Pointless Pokemon really is. Level 20. That's just a disgrace. That really is. Alright, so we're kind of running low on time here, alright? So next time Pokemon Liquid Crystal, we will take on the rest of this rocket hideout. Alright, I'll see you guys then.